Hey guys, Knoopsy here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to download Minecraft Feed the Beast, which is a mod pack for the Mac. Now, this is very, very simple, but there is some people who've been having some problems to download it, I guess. So, all you really want to do is go to Feed the Beast, just, yep, type it in, pretty simple, and then go to the website, right there. Very, very nice looking website, very, very cool. Um, this is just a list of things that come in Feed the Beast, so you have all these mods inside this one mod pack. Now, the very unique thing about Feed the Beast is that it's not a bunch of mods you have to download. So, like, these little mods, you'd probably have to just go do all those, like, uh, difficult modding techniques and stuff. But here, it makes a separate launcher, basically, for you. So, you want to just go to Download. And then you can download the client server, or you need support, you can just go there to do a server um, you know if you want to host like a server you can just download that I'm not going to show you how to do that in this uh, episode of help I guess <laughs> I don't really know but uh, I'm not showing you that today but uh, I will show you how to download the client this helps you this is you can just play a single player and you can also go on servers but you can't host your own server on here so I'm gonna download the dot jar I can harm my computer take the risk <laughs> So now it's already done. Done here. And then you just take it, drag it to the desktop. There you go. And then feed the beast launcher dot jar. Just double click it and then open. So this is your first time using the network. You not the network. The launcher we suggest in the install directory. Apply. So now it's created a little like uh drive thing here. It's created uh these things you want to just leave these things open like over here. If you put them away, it's gonna keep on making them, and there's kind of no point. So now here you can cho choose your version of uh, Feed the Beast. You can choose the Minecraft Team one, um, this Direwolf 20. I like the Mod Pack A the best. It's the one that I usually use. It's the one I use for my playthroughs. Not my playthroughs. My uh, you know Feed the Beast server thing. I'm using this one. You can get the Brony one. I don't know why you would. Feed the Beast Retro, Universal Electricity. So there's a whole bunch of them you can choose. I recommend A because you get the most things out of A. So like as you can see, um, you get like all these cool things. Tons of them. You get them in other mod packs too, but there's some some mod packs that have less, some mod packs that have more. It just depends what you're interested in. I like Feed the Beast Pack A. So now what you want to do is select your profile before. Um create profile then you want to type in your minecraft username and password so I'm gonna just do that Knoopsy. Knoopsy. okay there we go and now we can select to remember the password or whatever you don't have to have the remember password but it's just easier if you do and then I guess you push whatever the A was <laughs> and then you do launch so now what it's doing is downloading the mod pack for you and uh, it's creating Feed the Beast beta folder, beta A. Um, so yeah, it, that happens with any of the things. It'll just be different, different name. So it's just downloading. And once that's down, done downloading, it takes this. The first time you do it takes a little bit. The second time and the next few times you do it, it takes a little bit of time, but it's way less time than it does the first time. So yeah, and here you can also. Okay, it's, yeah, it's doing something, so it's not going to let me do that. <laughs> so right now, it's basically just downloading this. You can't really select any of these things right now. But there's other options. You can change things. You can add... I think you can add more mods. You can edit the packs. You can edit the filter. You can add maps to this, too, for Feed the Beast. You can add different texture packs. Now it's downloading the dot .jar for this. So the dot .jar for this basically is... Um, what you would click on to log in or to get on every single time you want to play. So it's just do doing all this other fun stuff. So now it makes a full screen, I guess. FML. <laughs> FML. So yeah, very, very simple. I'm just going to minimize this. Oops. I didn't mean to do that. But see, all it's doing is just um, loading all the things. I kind of made a little mistake here, and I 
Minimize the window. Okay, there we go. So it just says Mo Mo Yang, Mo Jang, whatever you want to call it, while it's loading this. this. It takes a little bit, so don't worry. Don't be all like, oh no, it's not doing anything. That was quicker than uh, I expected. So now that it's done, you can just have some fun now. So uh, let's create a new world. Let's just go into creative. Boom. Some people weren't really sure what to do. Watch, uh, like, to what to do, the, like, I can't even talk today, but some people didn't know what they were doing to download it, like they weren't doing it correctly or something. But it's pretty simple, you just gotta go with it. So, uh, that's my little tutorial. Uh, here we go, just gonna show you guys, prove to you that it works. And yeah, it takes a little bit more than the usual, uh, Minecraft to open. And, uh,. And it's kind of laggy, but because it is Feed the Beast, but you can always turn down your settings and stuff, and I should probably get the next release. So, uh, yeah, you got to do all your settings, performance, like, max FPS, bobbing off. You got you to gotta just make it, um, oops. Now this is the time when you just mess around with it, make it better, because you can see how slow it was for me. See now it's a little bit faster as you can see. And that's really it for Feed the Beast. Um, it's very simple, if you have any more questions feel free to ask. Uh, yeah, that's about it guys, see you next time. This is Kanoopsy signing off and goodbye, thank you for watching, if this video was helpful please leave me a like post any comments, subscribe please, that would be great, tell your friends, that's about it guys, see you next time, ooh, a village.